Hi guys, my name is xfix 8 and today I'm going to be taking a look at a new feature that I don't think was really talked about in any of the Genesis previews. So first of all, we're just going to track the closest mission starter and we're going to go fly over it and we're going to take a look at some of these mission rewards. You'll also notice you can start any mission from any mission terminal and you don't have to go to specific mission start points. So you can see you'll get these different world effect rewards which will basically buff your character and give you different benefits depending on which mission you do. These last anywhere from 3 hours for Gamma up to a day and a half for Alpha. So you can see I'm going through the rewards here and there's some really cool ones. There's increased incubation speeds, there's increased health regen. You can buff your supply drop rates which is pretty crazy because they're already pretty strong on Genesis 2. You can get bonus hexagons. I do wonder whether these stack or whether it's just like plus 60% or like how that works for alpha. You could even get this for bosses or something like that, maybe make it a bit easier. It'll also be interesting to see if whether these buffs actually like multiply with any EVO events or anything like that, or whether it like multiplies even more with small tribes rates. Hatchlings grow up faster, you can raise your dinos faster, there's some really cool ones in here. I could even see you getting some of these buffs before you go out on farming trips and just get an absolutely absurd amount of metal really really quickly. Taming speed increase, pretty crazy. And then there's some skins and stuff as rewards as well. But yeah, it'll, it'll be cool to see if this 1.5 times actually stacks or like multiplies with boosted rates during EVO events or small tribes rates, stuff like that. So I'm going to test this egg hatching increase one and see how strong it is. So I'm going to quickly run through the mission and then we'll test it with the gig egg when I'm done. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the mission here. Basically just had to trank out a bunch of bulb dogs and then neck gun them. As well as follow a bunch of footsteps, so it was pretty easy. But then again, I'm cheating. I'm in creative mode. I'm on single player. So you can see here that it's just popped up with the character buff. So we've got the increased uh, egg hatching speed. So we're going to quickly go set up some foundations and aircons and we'll spawn in a fertilized gig rag and we'll pop it down and see what the incubation time is. Okay, let's get this generator powered up for our aircons. And then I just need to find the command to spawn in a fertilized gig rag. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've had to do this. Oh, that's a normal one. Okay, there we go. For a less gig we're gonna pop this down. And five hours and 15 minutes. I'm like, I'm okay, so I'm 99.9% .9 sure that all of my single player settings are set to one time, so like normal official rates, which means that this is a quarter of what a normal incubation period is for a gig rag. Because normally on official, it's like two days to incubate the egg and then 10 days for it to grow up. And this is five hours and 15 minutes. So that's crazy, that's really, really strong. Let's just see if we can find where we track the buff duration and stuff like that. Oh, there it is, effects. Yeah, so you can see it tracks your time remaining on it. It indicates whether it's gamma, beta, or alpha. And yeah, it looks like with alpha, you would get 4.5 times the, I don't know, this this seems really strong. Have they changed like gig reg incubation times or something? I just want to test whether uh, like we lose this buff when we die. Uh, 
Uh, do we not take full damage anymore? What? Okay, um, I'll just put in some polymer. <laughs> So yeah, you can see the effects last uh, through death, which is really cool. I'm going to try creating a new character and just drop an egg without the buff and see if that actually has like a longer incubation time or something like that, um, just so we can compare. See if we pick this up and throw it back down. Hmm, it's still got the 5 hours and 10 minutes. Let's uh, spawn in a new one. And... Oh, this is the same incubation time. Wait, does the buff carry over like between characters or something? Like maybe it's account wide. Yeah. We still have the buff on a brand new character, like we literally overwrote our old character and we still have the buff. That's interesting. And it's probably going to take me way too long to slow-mo through the buff to check. Yeah, that's going to go so slowly. Well, regardless of how much of a difference it makes to the egg incubation, I think these character buffs are really cool. It means you can like go and actively increase your rates if you want to instead of having to wait for an evo event, or even stack it with an evolution event. Uh, so if you wanted to do like a massive batch of raising, you could go out, get some buffs, and then start popping some dinos. Or you could go and get the resource harvest buffs and just do that even faster. So there's some really cool things in here. Anyway guys, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be doing an official series as well after I get some of these uh, like first look at Genesis videos out. So look forward to that as well. Anyway, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.